back to FMA Sports Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn a square blank down to a round, all in a third of a second. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay guys, so here we have our blank piece of timber. I've connected all my four corners and I'm gonna mount this into the lathe now. So again guys, as you can see, I'm mounting it into my lathe. I've shown this in a previous video, so if you wanna have a check that out to refresh your memory, but I'm just clamping it in place, holding it nice and tight because there's gonna be a lot of struggle on the lathe today as I'm turning into a square piece of timber. Again, for safety guys, double check that your corners aren't touching against your tool rest and that your lathe is firmly secured. So I'm going to start off using my skew chisel. Again, same grip, four fingers underneath and your thumb above. So your thumb is rotating the chisel guys. You can start it off at an angle and you're working to a 90 degree straight line. Okay, so keep it turning and what you're looking for is trying to get a uh, round shape so you're lying in the center guys again if you want to stop your lid and have a look you want to get that line traveling the whole way around so again my v is starting to form here i'm starting off in an angle and i'm working my way in so don't be afraid if it starts to chip off at the end you're going to tidy this up later with your skew chisel again guys keep going in small little cuts at a time and there we have that round cylinder going the whole way around or the circle should I say so I'm going to use my rough and gouge here guys again take small cuts off at a time and make sure you don't hit off the corners at the very end so I'm keeping in between them two circles that I've created with my skew chisel again guys just double check every time and really take your time here now notice the way I'm turning my rough and gouge around to the right to get right in close to them circles so again, if you see the wood shavings building up here, guys, I can't see where my tool is working here. So always, when they get to the end, tip them off. So next thing, I'm going to change back to my skew chisel, and this is going to give me a nice cylinder here in the middle. Again, the rough and gouge is not going to leave that good of a finish, so you're going to have to change back to the skew chisel. So when I get to the end here, I'm going to rotate around my skew chisel, guys, because I want to get right down and tight into the bottom of them circles. Again, so this is the rough shape. Now I can use my spindle gouge here. Again, it's a quarter inch spindle gouge. And if you notice, I'm starting off with the tool on its flat, and I'm turning it around until I get right down into my circles again. Again, guys, just a key point to note, when I was marking this out, them circles were actually my lines, so always mark to the, sh the bottom of the shoulder line. So again, just take this into account depending on how big of a shoulder line you want. So you could always mark on. For this video, I didn't mark on a shoulder line, I was just using my eye. Again, I'm going to tidy this up using my skew chisel, guys. So again, taking your time, nice slow cuts. And when you get to the end, turn it around and you can start working your way back again. Again, this is one of the hardest processes to get right. But once you've mastered the spindle technique, you should be able to get a nice even curve. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.